Hi there. Good afternoon. This is Apostle Dolores Kendrick, and once again, coming to you with Hope Lives Here, and uh, hoping that these times that we're coming together are a blessing to you, and um, I know they are for me, just to knowing that you're here and that you're listening. Can't see you yet, but knowing that God is moving for you in your behalf, and so just excited over the time of the year. And you know, we have nine days before Thanksgiving. Isn't that something? Are you still uh, writing down your thank yous to the Lord and putting a scripture with it? So we want to be sure that on that morning, before we do anything else, we just take time. If it's in bed, if we just lift up those thank yous and just say, Lord, I just want to thank you. Here, I give them to you all the thanksgiving and all the blessings that you have bestowed upon me all these years. And so let's continue to do that. Today, I just want to talk with you about um, Hannah. Uh, 1 Samuel, the second um, chapter speaks of um, Hannah and how that Hannah was married to a man, Alkna, and uh, she uh, couldn't bring forth. She couldn't conceive. And this bothered her. This really worried her because really it was almost like a curse if you couldn't conceive, if you couldn't bear children. And so she went to her husband. She complained to her husband. She complained to the Lord. Year after year, she went up to the um, place of worship and uh, where Eli was the priest and she would just be before the Lord begging him and asking him for a son. And then it came to a place as she was one day just praying and asking God, she tapped into uh, the very presence of God and God heard her and answered her. And uh, through the priest uh, who thought that as she was weeping before the altar, that she was drunk and she says, no, I'm not drunk, my heart is heavy. Have you ever been just to the point where you just couldn't hardly mutter uh, the words, but you were just groaning, you know, just in agony over a thing that you might have needed or something that you were asking God for? This is where Hannah was. And um, as she did this, the Lord answered her prayer. Hannah came to a place where she told the Lord in her prayer that it elevated, it, it, it just literally through the constant praying, it just elevated into a place where she says, Lord, if you give me a son, I'll give him back to you. And this is what God was waiting for because there was no open vision. In other words, there was no prophetic voice in the land and the priests were uh, not living right before the Lord. Eli and his sons were sinning in the temple and God uh, wanted a prophet and he saw in her the capability of her being able to carry that prophet, which was Samuel, in her womb. And when she said, Lord, I just give it to you. And uh, that's when the Lord caused her to conceive because that's what God was waiting for. Sometimes in our prayer, uh, we're praying and sometimes it can be a selfish thing. Sometimes not necessarily a selfish thing, it's just something we want. And then sometimes if we just give that dream, give that desire, give that back to the Lord, even a ministry, giving the ministry back to the Lord and just say, Lord, I give this back to you. And then the Lord begins to move for us. Hannah gave a long prayer of thanks after she conceived and, and, and had her son. Uh, and because of God granting her a petition for a son and when he was born Samuel was born and she weaned him Hannah remembered her promise to God and that's a key thing to uh, I want to point out here because sometimes we pray and we ask God for things and then when he granted to us after a long time of waiting before the Lord we will say, Lord, if you do this, I'll do this. And if you give me this, I promise I'll this and I'll that. And sometimes we forget our promise. We forget what we have promised God uh, when we receive the promise. Well, Hannah didn't. 
she didn't forget. She remembered. And so as soon as uh, Samuel was weaned, she took him to the temple. And there she presented him to Eli the priest to be a prophet of God, to be in the priesthood uh, under the tutelage of Eli. And, um, and, and she, she dedicated him uh, to the Lord. And this is how when we have our children, uh, this is where we get this from, where we want to dedicate our children back to the Lord, not christening or anything or not baptizing them, but giving them back to the Lord and that he entrusted us to raise them. He entrusted us to train them and raise them up for the glory of God. Amen. To give them to the Lord that he will direct us. So, you know, have you ever been barren uh, of something? Maybe it wasn't a child. Maybe it was uh, uh, a, a dream that you had to do something or, uh, you know, uh, uh, the birthing of a precious desire in your heart that you wanted to do or a ministry or a place you wanted to it was it was strong uh but if you were barren you just couldn't birth it you just couldn't conceive it it was there but you just couldn't uh press into it hannah broke the spirit of barrenness in her life by giving the god that which she was wanting, giving it back to the Lord. Try giving it to the Lord, and you will be amazed. In other words, she wanted a son, and that's when she told the Lord, as we said, that uh, if you bless me, I'll give him to you to raise, to do with him what you desire. And that's a powerful, powerful statement to make. And, um, and God received him because she kept her promise. And then, you know, she began to praise and thank the Lord. She was blessed, yes, with more children. God blessed her abundantly. But I just want you to just think, are you willing to give the Lord that which you are desirous of? Are you willing to give the Lord that which you are pregnant with? That which you, that's in your spirit, that you are, are birthing, that that you want to do, that what you want to uh, minister, or you want to uh, a particular profession, or whatever it is, are you willing to give it to God? Are you willing? I will never forget um, my podiatrist. Um, he once told me, uh, something that blessed me, uh, just blessed me so, uh, that he was so thankful how God had blessed him with knowledge and with uh, skill to do surgery um, on different one's feet and to bring correction to uh, uh, the ankles or the feet, the things that were um, bothering people. He was so thankful that God had gifted him, that he wanted to minister uh, to his patients. It wasn't just a, a um, surgeon or a podiatrist just uh, forming his skill, performing his skill, and do, but he, this was a ministry to him. And as he shared with me, he said, I always was so thankful to God for that he used me in what I call a ministry to people. He said, I wanted to give my service back to God. I wanted to give this to the Lord and let him use me, let him do the surgery and all. And I would listen to that. And sometimes we make vows and uh, and promises to God that we don't keep. But I remember when I was in surgery, when he was doing surgery on my feet, and he asked me that I want to be put, uh, you know, under that I want to be uh, uh, aware of what was going on. I told him yes. And if it wasn't any need for me to, he says, of course. And as I was laying there, uh, the anesthesiologist had already applied the, you know, um, uh, that which I needed to just numb everything where I wouldn't feel anything. 
I re hearing him. I remember hearing him the whole time that he did surgery on my feet. He was quoting scriptures. He was quoting scriptures one after another to the Lord. And he says, I memorized chapters. And he says, this is what I gave to God that I could quote those over my patients. And I'm sure that sometimes it had to be under his breath because he couldn't do this openly. But with me, he knew he could. And as I listened to him quoting those scriptures, just giving those verses to God and over me, I such an atmosphere, such a peace and a beautiful atmosphere was in that room where he was doing surgery. And so I just want you today to thank God. If there's anything that you're holding that you haven't given to the Lord, give it to him and praise and thank him for the blessing that he has blessed you with, the skill or the knowledge or whatever it is that uh, you have. Hannah never forgot her promise and she praised the Lord. She gave back to the Lord that which she so desired in her heart. Let's praise the Lord. Let's thank God. Let's give him all that we have. Let's lay ourselves upon the altar in thanksgiving and praise during this time and bless the name of the Lord. Amen. Well, God bless you. And I thank God for you. I thank God for you and your faithfulness over the years of just listening and joining me with Hope Lives Here. And I just want you to know how much I appreciate and love you today. God bless you. Thank you.